how's it going guys? Darek Wosh here from Kali Athletics and today finally the nutrition video that I promised you to come on my channel so stay tuned because today I'll be giving you some practical advices on building muscle mass or reducing body fat so let's get it started as you probably know my main goal is not building muscle mass but rather focusing on calisthenic skills however on needs of this video I decided to show you the full day of eating from the time that I was um, focusing on muscle growth and uh, I will show you all the meals that I'm eating however uh, these are not the meals that I eat every single day also I'm not nutrition specialist but I want to give you some practical advices and share with you some basic knowledge that you need to uh, have in order to build muscle mass or get shredded so let's get it started and now we're going to go to the shop to get some ingredients let's go We are back from grocery store and as you can see here we got all ingredients needed for today so now I'm going to show you how I prepare the breakfast and before workout meal then we're going to hit the workout and just after that I'm going to focus directly on nutrition so I'll be telling you everything you need to know to start with nutrition or to get better results that you got just right now so let's get it started <laughs> Okay guys, the first meal is done. Uh, if you feel lack of appetite in the morning, because this is what often happens to me, I would recommend you like 5 or 10 minutes walk and just after you wake up, uh, drink a glass of water, it should really help you out. Because of my dynamic lifestyle and also I'm still student at university, uh, my nutrition is based on fast prep meals, so I was always trying to find the ways that I can prepare the meals in fast way. It also contains a lot of snacks, so I can take them with me throughout the day. So uh, one of these meals is my pre-workout meal that I'm going to do right now, and this is the milkshake with millet flakes, so let's go. However guys, you must be aware that despite nutrition and regeneration, the most important, the main factor is working out. So if you want to lose body fat or gain muscle mass uh, and look good, you must remember about working out. So uh, make sure that your workout program has progressive overload and just in short words, it means that you must be challenging yourself and each workout improve. So uh, let's get started and I will show you now the example of my workout day. So let's hit the bars and let's get it started. plan for today is that I will start with the static skills training, I'll be working on full plunge and front lever and after that I will hit the weighted calisthenics for that good muscle hypertrophy.
see guys I'm focusing more on skills training and that's because my ultimate goal is to get great body control. I was working on the full punch and it's not perfect for me yet because I had two months rest because of the small wrist injury but I truly believe within a few months I'll be able to hold the perfect form full punch. Now we're going to hit the hypertrophy workout so I'll be doing the weighted pull-ups, uh, archery push-ups, Australian pull-ups and then the weighted dip. So let's get it started. What I've noticed nowadays is that people focus on not really important stuff regarding the nutrition and that's because they are surrounded with all massive information that is a small percentage of what you should know to get great results. So uh, for example because of that people started asking me or write in the comments the questions such as how many meals a day should you have, uh, what supplements you must have to gain muscle mass also about the fat burners and um, for example what is the best meal and what time is the best to eat so this is not really important for you if you want to just look good and get that summer body for example so this all is very important for the uh, bodybuilders the people that want to get on the stage and for them every detail is very important because if you connect it together it might optimize your results but it doesn't mean you will not have results without this so because of that today i'm going to show you only the most important uh, factors that you must follow to to get great body and we're not going really into details if you'd like me just let me know about the topic or maybe i will do the q a on instagram when i can go deeper into all details but for now we're going to stay with the basics because this is what will determine your progress okay guys so the next step that is the most important here is to adjust your caloric intake to your current goal so if you want to build muscle mass obviously you must be on caloric surplus while if you want to reduce body fat you must be on caloric deficit so there is no way you will be building muscle mass if you're not on caloric surplus the only exception is uh, if you're a beginner and you just started with working out, it might be possible to build some of muscles, but then you're going to hit plateau. So now we're going to talk about long-term muscle building, so obviously the caloric surplus will be necessary. Okay, so if you found out your caloric needs to be around 3000 calories, uh, you must add let's say 100 or 200 calories to it and then follow it for let's say at least three weeks to be able to see the progress because if you're following that caloric intake for three weeks and you see no results that simply means it's still too less so in that case you want to increase your calories once again and do that to the time that you see the progress so what i've noticed is that many people message me and they ask me for the nutrition advice because they are eating a lot and they are not gaining weight and this is one of the common mistakes that I was doing also at the beginning of my journey because I was consuming around like 1500 calories and in order to increase my body mass I started eating more so uh, I started eating more and I didn't see any new results and when I calculated how many calories did I eat on day it was around 3000 calories and in reality that was still under my caloric surplus so this is the common mistake if you're not gaining weight and you have good workout program with progressive overload and good regeneration it obviously means you're still eating under your caloric needs of course guys it is important to eat as healthy as you can however if you have troubles in delivering enough calories then you can consider including some fast food or maybe go to KFC, McDonald's or get yourself a pizza. So there is nothing wrong about that because everything is for people. And if your goal is to gain muscles, obviously you must be on caloric surplus. So now I'm uh, going to have my ice cream to increase the calories even more and reach that caloric intake that is necessary for me. 
Okay guys, as you could see in today's video I only focused on the most important factors and I didn't go into details. And that's because I think that nowadays people start to complicate too much nutrition and that's not the best idea. So uh, if you'd like me to focus more on chosen topic let me know in the comment section and see you guys in the next video.